Hi everyone, it's Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art. And uh, today I wanted to walk through or do a flip through of one of my shopping bag journals. And this is the original one. Um, the one I made on camera was, um, was the second one. This is the original and I don't think I ever showed it on camera. I don't know why, I think I'm just an airhead. But I'm gonna flip through this and do some um, work on it. But I wanna do the cover first and this is the reason, uh, or this is this is what I want to do, is I want to position my topper here because when you hold the, when you hold your journal, it's going to be this way, right? That, that'll be the best way to look at it. That way, I, so it's not like sideways, you know? That's my thinking. So what I'm going to do is uh, or what I did was I pulled out some elements that have there's some shiny there's some uh, shiny here this is a, um, a piece of, of acrylic skin paint skin from one of my brayers and then this is just a piece of textured paper that that's been painted over a few times because I use this to create marks um, and um, it got all painty and it's perfect. I think it looks really good here. And we have this lovely couple hanging out. And I thought this blue piece with the shiny gold would look really good behind, behind them as well. So let me build that up. I think we'll start there and we will get to going. I think I'm just going to use double-sided tape on this so that um, it's, it's hard to glue this down with like a liquid glue. So I'm just going to use this double-sided tape. Yeah. So how is everybody doing? Surviving this heat wave? Ooh, it's been rough. And then Last night we had storms, rainstorms in, in this part of the country. Um, and there were tornado warnings, which is very rare for this uh, part of the world, <laughs> part of the country. And a, um, I was dead asleep and this loud alarm woke me out of that dead sleep and it was my phone the notification on my phone from the weather service to um take cover because there were tornadoes in the area or expected to be in the area man freaked me out for a second but everything seems to be fine there doesn't seem to be any damage around here not that i can see so, you know, I guess that, that's a good thing, right? Let me get some ink on there. I didn't rip it all, you know. I, I That was a mistake, but I'll just put some ink on it and get that uh, covered up. Where's my ink? Here we go. Yeah. So this is made out of a shopping bag, a Walmart shopping bag. I have a whole uh, couple of videos. Um, showing how I made it and, and all that. So check those out. And this one I've been working on behind the scenes, just, you know, a couple hours here and there. Um, I recently went through a bunch of National Geographic magazines that I have. And I put those, um, or I, I, I harvested a lot of images from there, from those magazines. So um, I used that in here. I used some um, other really cool elements. So I'll, I'll go through that and I'll show you what I've been working on. I think that's good, yeah? Actually, I wanna get his arm, or his hand here resting on that spot. But I think I need the foam tape. Where's my foam tape? 
here we go. So these, uh, I want to give these a little lift. But first, I want to ink them. She's got a little issue with their hat. I got to take care of that later. A little ink around these edges. Yeah, so I used the magazine images. Um, there are envelopes in there that I made out of gel prints. I have um, big graphic images, I think work well. I have a vintage book page. Um, the covers, the cover is uh, gel prints. Here's the back. This is a gel print I made into a pocket. There's a gel print I made into an envelope. And this is these strips here I added from another um, gel print. I've done these, I did this in a video. These are uh, National Geographic pages that I gel printed on. And I just added one of my faux stamps on there. So, so you can see this was a magazine page. But then I added, like I said, from another um, magazine page, I added these prints to offset all the gold and brown. And then here I just have this really awesome little um, gel printed uh, index card that my friend Becky made me. Just put a little note on the back, so I'm going to put that in there. And then this can go right here. That's a nice pocket. You can do it like that, or you can tuck it in. For now I'm going to tuck it in so I don't rip it up on, get it caught and rip it on something. All right, Get your handles. And this one I didn't bind um, with a, st a, panel, uh, a pamphlet stitch. I just did um, elastic so that I can remove or add pages as I want to, which is a fantastic thing. All right, back to these guys. So let's position this first. Because I think that would be important to do. So I think about here. Yeah, that sound good? I think that looks good. I'm not trying to get too, too intricate with the cover. I just wanted to get something on there. I thought it was just too plain. And I figured, hey, I got a lot of extra bits laying around. Let's use some of them. This is actually from a paper pad. You know those the kinds you get like at Joann's? So, got one of those when they were having a big uh, Memorial Day sale. It was like $5. A lot of cool papers. I've used some of them already in uh, other projects. And then uh, we have this strip here that I'm gonna use. Um, to ground them. So place that there. Come on. I think that'll work nicely there. I think so. Maybe pull it over just a little bit more. Okay. So, I'm going to use glitter glue on this too, just to make sure it sticks. Yeah, I was cleaning off a brayer that I use in gel printing, and it, you know, it didn't come off cleanly in one big strip, but I got some nice pieces out of it that. I save so I can use projects like this. And they're nice and sturdy. There's a few layers of paint on there for sure. Okay. Very nice, very nice, very nice. See, nothing's fancy, just a little simple, simple. Okay, so let's 
So, oh, this is picking up, so I'm gonna get a little bit more glue under here. It's hard to glue on there. I'm gonna make sure you get her down good. I finally got my stainless steel needles or pins uh, from Amazon um, because I lost the one that came with my glitter glue. When you buy glitter glue, it comes with a pin. It's a stainless steel pin that you can use to, um, you know, in, in, the, in the tip. But, and the reason you want stainless steel is otherwise it'll rust. The pin will rust in there. It'll turn your glue orange. It's gross. So always use a stainless steel pin. Okay, so let me get some little foamy bits here on the back of this. Maybe I just do that. About. We'll go from here down, yeah? Okay. Maybe to about here. This needs smaller bits. So let me just trim this up in half. Or actually, I can just go this way. That way, I don't want the, the limbs lifting up. So it's another cut down the middle. couple of pieces there. I think that'll be good. Here. So I've been thinking of creating another book, but with, um, you know, like a more arty book um, using my black chipboard. Um, I'm just trying to come up with ideas of like a theme maybe, or, um, you know, so it's a little, it's, it makes sense. So if you have any ideas, please drop them in my comment box. That would be great. Or if there's anything uh, you'd like to see on my channel, yeah, let me know. All right. This is always the fun part, peeling this stuff back. See, oh, we would mess it up. I've been, uh, I've had the place to myself for a couple of days. So I've been trying to um, film as many videos as I can because when I do not have the place to myself, I can only do videos where I don't speak because just the noise and, um, you know, all that. So, um, I take advantage when I get some time to myself to make these videos, which is great. Uh, I get them all stored up and then all I have to do is edit them up and post them. 
And so that's what I've been doing. And then staying up late coloring and all that fun stuff. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. Bea beautiful. I could always come back and add, you know, something else if I think of it. But for right now, I think that works just fine. Very nice. Okay. So let's look through this book. So yeah, this is a junk book. That holds tags and um, all that good stuff. Okay. Here we go. So inside here, there's chipboard. So this is a piece of chipboard here, and I covered it in a vintage book page. Here we have our lion, our South African lion. And then for the back, I used this page with a leopard, inked it up. And then um, I had this little strip that I had stamped on. It was an old piece of paper that was painted, stamped on, uh, which stamped on. And I said, you know what, let me add that here and then put in this tag. So I thought that was cool the way the ribbon sticks out like that. Just adds a little more fun. All right. So here, this is another piece of uh, what I was talking about, a magazine um, pieces I've been taking out from the National Geographics I have. Um, this particular paper, it's, it's thick. So when I was moving to where I am now, um, I got a lot of boxes from my local bodega. And what come, some of the boxes I got were... Um, used to transport, um, or, you know, when there were, uh, boxes that plantains come in. So there are these, you know, big boxes, thick cardboard, and inside there's a layer of this on the bottom, right? So I took it out and cut it up and used it here. You can still see the, these are the original holes and the gel printed both sides. And there you go. Easy peasy, it's a nice thick page, but it's not bulky, which I like. So using your junk in your journal. These are images that I stamped onto painted pieces of book page. Um, I even have a video on this too, but I might do another one, um, updated one. So I just take, you know, some craft paint or even just your other acrylic paint. You can even do watercolor. Um, I drew around it with a black watercolor pencil just to grunge it up and then stamped over it. Same thing with this one and this one. And I believe I used paint to stamp on these and not ink, but I can't be. I think this one is ink. I think these are paint. You know, whatever works, there's another one. And this, so I still have space on here to do something if I want. This is a piece of uh, brayer off paper. It's packaging that I used to clean off my brayer as I'm gel printing. And I thought that was fun. I added some marks here, just a brush. My leaf here, this pocket. This is another pocket. And these are gel prints that I created when I first started gel printing. Um, I Put them up on my Etsy page. I don't know if they're still there. I, I don't think they are, but um, you can check my Etsy page. So they're down, they were, uh, I turned them into digitals um, for you to download. Um, they may still be there, but I know there's other, there's a lot of other gel prints that are on there that you can download. Um, so I made a bunch of pockets using these images. Got one man, I thought it went really well with this gel print here with the shiny uh, blues and silver and greens with the stars. The stars are stamped, by the way. Are these stamped? Oh, I'm sorry, I take that back. Those, it's, you know, that's acrylic too. There was another one I did that had a stamped uh, stars. So here I made a belly band with this beautiful image from National Geographic. This is a uh, coffee dye paper I gel printed on. So very nice. Here's another uh, clean off sheet. I clean the stencil off um, 
on here. This is my stencil pathways. And I uh, cleaned it off on this piece of packaging. On the back side here, I put Mr. Fish. This is the bristly trigger fish. Like gorgeous. And then here is a, um, this is a bag from, I wanna say the pharmacy that I collaged with book page and music bits and some other stuff. I put in some sentiments. And then this is the back, the bottom flap and it's got a little tuck space in there. And I put a, a embossed um, moth. Cut that out, put that there. This is a gel print too. And here are some botanical pages. In there. Here's some other gel printing I did. I gel printed the book page, and you see it's 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 two pages together because I deconstructed the book completely. Um, but then I came back with um, a stencil and then and added these leaves. This is another gel print here. This is a piece of, if you can see here, it's a ledger, a piece of ledger paper and I cut it down to make a pocket. And then I added this cool image I found in one of the magazines to the front. Just cut it out, inked it. Here's more gel printing. This is um, a pocket in here. And this is, um, carnival tissue it was a cleanup sheet and I just glued it down there now this page I'm still working on but I had this pocket that I created from an old gel print and um, I thought the purple went well with the map I'm using here um, but I haven't gone any further although this is from the video where I showed you how to make these um, quick and easy book page journal cards using a magazine um, images and adding a little tab and then sewing around it and then on the back I put coffee dyed paper really easy it's not super thick it's flexible but you can still write on it isn't that great so yeah watch the video it's a quick video on how to make these very easy here's another uh, gel print that I did on uh, rice paper and I glued that to the back of this is a glassing envelope. So if you order from PM Artist Studio, they send you your stuff in one of these. Okay. I save mine, not for storage, but for my junk journals. And I just fold it up. I folded uh, part of it up to make a pocket. I added some gel printing here. Here's another one of those journal cards. And this one is uh, got fabric attached to it as a pull. Okay, more book page, another pocket. And this, you know, definitely is a work in progress. So, you know, things may look different uh, a month from now. Here's more of that, um, I'm just gonna call it plantain box paper, this map. This map I received from my friend Maya out in California, and she lives in the Oakland area. And um, this is, she got some stuff from, um, from friends. These were, uh, these are pilot maps. So, you know, when you're, when, when, uh, for, for people who fly planes, that's what I'm trying to say. And these are from the area from, these are like California um, places. So you got your Golden Gate Bridge. This is Oakland, Class C. This is a no SVFR San Francisco International. I don't know. I think that's the airport. Um, Yeah, so there's a lot of cool stuff on here. So I'm not, I'm probably not going to cover that up too much. Um, and then here is, this is two pieces of old vintage, what do you call that stuff? Construction paper, you know, the kind you get 
in your grade school you cut up and do stuff do stuff on so this was originally like blue and it faded over the years and I found it when I was moving and that was um, packing stuff up so I'm using um, I put two of those together and I made them into like flip outs so put you over there put beautiful vintage book page here it says they look beautiful said Bob Yes, they do. Some more of um, gel print pockets here. And this is a, oh, I gotta fix that. Little background here, I may put something else over it. And then here's a pocket or a, an envelope I made with, um, this was a piece of construction paper, cardstock, actually it's cardstock, um, that I use as a cleanup sheet when I was doing some gel printing and I made it into an envelope and I added some elements there, the flower, the strip here is uh, gel print. Same here, got a stamp on there. And then um, for now I have here from another magazine, this really cool image, Great Salt Lake, Utah, Black Rock. Salt crystals, earth, red water algae. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, I got that. Get in there. I've been trying to learn how to make envelopes on the scoreboard I have. It's like a scoreboard cutting board thing, and it's just I just I I get it wrong every time so i gave up and i just started making them my own way but wait okay so that goes in there here's some more gel printed book page and this one here this is a little pocket i glue these basically over each other created a pocket there there's a pocket here and these pages are from a um an index book from, or an in, index pages from a big book of maps, I believe, that uh, someone sent me. Here's a little, um, you call it gecko. It is a uh, die cut that I gel printed on. All the cool colors there. And here's the other half of that vintage construction paper fold out we've got an ad for boxing gloves and then here i got this from um, one of my national geographics it's a picture of or a drawing of um the sheraton plaza in boston it's still there it looks a little bit different but not much um definitely the cars are different actually i don't think you can park out there anymore there are restrictions a lot of um, changes like that but this is essentially what it looks like and I just cut around it you can add stuff up here here's another um, piece from a mag the magazine Ooh, I need to get this out of here okay I turned that into a belly band and then added this and this is from the same um, story in that magazine here's that so I can go in there for now Oops, come on. All right, so let's see what's left. Oh, I pulled this. I wanted to cut out one, a couple of bees and maybe add them to here. Maybe, I don't know, but let's, let's see what I can do here. Cut these up. These are bees that I uh, embossed onto book page, and these are thicker book pages. They're usually the, um, the pages from the very beginning or the very end of the book, kind of a spacer page. They leave blank, and usually that's for the, like the author to sign or what have you. And I save those and then do stuff like this because it's nice and sturdy. And hold 
it's up well to impossible. So that's nice. I'm gonna cut this this way. So I did a bunch of those on um, book page. I did uh, some script, embossed it, and you know, stamped, embossed it. And these are just elements that I can have stored in my little, you know, little storage box to use to embellish projects. So. That way, when I want to put something together, I already have things made. I don't have to continuously make something. I can just have fun and put stuff together. Oops. Huh, let's ink it up. Give the bee a little, a little edge. How short could I be? I think I wanted to put it there. Just kind of hanging out a little bit. Or should I just go right in here? Maybe even, maybe the bottom, like it's flying up, up, up into there. That's what I'll do. I think, um, no, I'm gonna use glitter glue on this because that's acrylic. I wanna make sure this sticks. All right, I'm gonna cut out two more and add them in. I'm gonna speed that part up though.
Very nice. Let's continue. Um, here's another pocket I made um, using book page that um, I was uh, I sprayed on. Like these are um, my spray dyes, and there's other stuff on there too, I think. But it's mostly the spray dyes. Add some washi tape and some stamping, and then these are fun, cute cards. I think I got these from Darcy. They're silly. They're from a, a child's game, obviously, but they're fun. Fun and colorful. All right. More map. Washi tape. Here's another little envelope I made from uh, paper packaging that I put on here. Got a little die cut leaf I colored in with some acrylic markers. And here is, uh, let's put some stamped images in here. That way you know, I got stuff to play with later. And then here is another pocket I made using a uh, gel print. This is gel printed um, ledger paper. There's a little mushroom I did. I had some watercolor paper that um, I had painted on and I drew um, different mushrooms and leaves and stuff and cut them out. So that's that. And this is an ATC from Becky. Isn't that funny? Don't make me hurt you. She's so good at these. So I'll put that in there. And then I have here, eh, I'm not excited about this, but I'm going to leave it. Uh, these are some washi stickers I had, um, these two. And I said, oh, let me stick them on there, put some light bulbs. I have these, I had these sitting around for a long time. Here's the other half of that um, glassy envelope. And then um, here I've got an envelope here that's glued down to there. It folds out. Nothing in there yet, but on the front, I did a little decorating here. I got some, this is a strip of book page, actually, that I stamped on. You know, when you trim a book page to, like, you know, use just the text and you get the white, the, the blank borders, save those. I stamp on them. Here's a flower. This is a gel print just, of bricks, and I used it to create sort of like a, a you know, like a where the, the flowers come out of. A little tab to open it. Here's that San Francisco Bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge to tie in with the maps I'm using. This is also from National Geographic and I made that into a belly band. Um, and here's some more storage here. It's an old family photo. Um, here's another uh, moth that I embossed and I put on here. And this is more of that um, botanical um, book, book page. Here's another one of these journal cards using the magazine image. It's a book page. All right, what do we have here? Oh, and this was fun. So these are two separate images from the National Ge Geographic, and I just I cut them separately and put them, I thought they looked really good over each other. Here's a mega size journal card that I made from this really cool image. I didn't want to break it up. So I kept the full image and attached some coffee dyed paper. Bam, and sewed around it. And this is like pocket. Um, and here's more from this, this story here, a little strip there. So, oh, and we have here, I wanted to, Put this here and I can't remember I think I think I'm gonna put it this way and then we have our other journal card here but on the back there is a uh, it's um, coffee dye paper that I um, did some inking on with my new stencil um, party mask put this uh, flower down in a little pocket it's made out of gel print Okay, and then this is Be Savage, Not Average. Love that one. So that all works. So let me go ahead and glue this down. I think we can get away with some glue stick for this. Most of, if not all of my books are in storage. 
because I was looking for a book to use as a glue book, but they're all in storage. But I have a couple of these um, oven baking sheets that are like nonstick. So I use those. I keep one in my um, <coughs> a big art journal that I use to, um, you know, when stuff's drying or if I'm gluing, um, you know, it doesn't get onto another page. So sort of like a protector. This way, yeah, let's do it this way. There we go. And I didn't bother inking it because I didn't, uh, I don't think it's necessary on this one. I'll get my hair so. smoother outer. This works really well. Thanks again, Rhonda. All right, look at that. So basically we're at the end now. Here is the other half of that. It's a beautiful image of this uh, bird with some um, really pretty fuchsia flowers that I thought went well with this and this gel print. And here's an embossed leaf. I add a little sparkle. Here's another uh, one of my gel print envelopes that I made on a, there's a video of these. Those are fun. And here's the end. That's it. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if I make, you know, if I keep adding stuff, I'll definitely do another update video. But for now, that is all. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a little fun, little, you know, inspiration. And um, thanks so much. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and leave me comments. I love comments. Thank you so much. Have a great one.